Hi, we're at the Smoky Hill Museum in Salina. It's located at 211 West Iron here in Salina. With me is the director of the Smoky Hill Museum, Susan Hawksworth. And Susan, thank you for having us. Uh, I, what kind of a museum is the Smoky Hill Museum? Because I've been to a lot of museums in my life, and each one has kind of a different way of doing things. And what kind is this museum? Well, I like to say we're a fun museum. Well, that's good. good. Uh, <laughs> but more seriously, we are a nationally accredited history museum that tells the story of the Smoky Hill region. Uh, we focus mainly on Salina and Saline County, uh, but we do the other surrounding counties as well. And like you said, we're located here in downtown Salina. What, what makes it fun? I mean, you know, every museum just kind of has that attitude. And, and what brings people and, and kids to the museum, do you think? Well, we have lots of hands-on things to do. Um, one of our favorite is the saw dugout. Okay. Um, that's a replica of the first home here in Salina. Really? Really, and everything in there is hands-on, and so kids can go in there and really play Pioneer House. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and, and you have other exhibits, of course. And uh, tell me a little bit about the, the hands-on and, and the things that the kids and, and adults will see. Um, well, we have another area where there are history mysteries that they can solve. Um, and then we have, all throughout, we have sp little hands-on things sprinkled uh, throughout. Uh, one is a buffalo, we call it our buffalo box, and uh -huh. it has parts of a buffalo, real parts from yeah. a buffalo, yeah. like a horn. Like the horn right here. You see, you know, the kids can come in and touch it and feel it. It's a buffalo horn. It's buffalo horn. And the tag that's on the horn tells you what the buffalo used that particular body part for. But we also have in the same box a sheet that shows what the Native Americans used that mm -hmm. part for, and what they could use a buffalo horn for was a spoon. And this is what, I mean, that had to take some time. It's kind of a big spoon, but It'd I, probably be a serving spoon. Serving spoon, yeah, I wouldn't probably eat, eat with of. this. Well, maybe yeah. I would, but <laughs> most, most people would. But that, that's kind of cool. Um, so, in addition to that, you have interactive things. You have um, uh, a journey through Kansas. And actually, we're sitting in the room uh, that kids, as a matter of fact, one of the children was just in here explaining a, what kind of a snake I was it? I think it was a hognose. Hognose snake. And he was telling me about putting it in one hole and then it comes out the other. This room is really sort of unique. And I, I can see by looking at it that it's uh, evolve around children. So tell me a little bit about this. Well, our t special exhibit, and we have two special exhibits a year, but our special exhibit uh, for this summer is called K is for Kansas. Mm -hmm. It's a traveling exhibit uh, from the Kauff Museum down in North Newton, but it is an alphabetic journey that takes you all the way through Kansas by each letter. So there is a person, place, or thing, or, or multiple things that have to do with each letter and deal with Kansas. Hmm. I saw Amelia Earhart over there, and yeah. uh, so, and she's, is she from Kansas? She is from Kansas. Is she really? Yeah, she's know. actually on the E block for uh -huh. Earhart. Um, another fun one is a J for jackrabbit. Yeah. You can learn different facts about the jackrabbit. You can even see if you can jump as far as a jackrabbit <laughs> in the exhibit. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, what else can people learn about the museum? Uh, tell me a little bit about the artifacts, for example. Oh, we have some great artifacts. My favorite, though, is the dog-powered butter churn. You're kidding me. No. Had to be a big dog. Well, <laughs> kind of like a pit bull size. Really? Not, that wouldn't have to be real big. Um, <laughs> a terrier. I okay, mean, kind really? Of a, a larger terrier. Oh, my uh, God. Because we actually have a picture showing a dog on a dog-powered butter churn, <laughs> along with the actual churn. Um, but the dog would be strapped up on a, a treadmill uh -huh. and run the treadmill and that would power a, the dasher that goes in the right. churn and turns the butter. Oh my gosh. So it saved those kids from having to do all the, all the work. Yes, the things you can learn <laughs> if you come to the Smoky Hill Museum, folks. And uh, what else? There's a, a long plank. Um, tell me about that plank. It, it, it definitely looks like an old long plank. I mean, it has deep grooves in it. It's very dark colored, but it was used in the Schiphol Ferry. Uh, Gotthard and John Schiphol were brothers, mm -hmm. and they had a ferry in 1858, mm -hmm. and for like the next nine years, and they would ferry people across the Saline River, military, uh, gold seekers, the Pike Peak, travelers, livestock, and they made three to four hundred dollars a day ferrying Gee, people across many. the river. That is a good business. That's there. a very good business, even for today. <laughs> well, it looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Um, 
So tell me now, once again, where, where are you located? We are at uh, downtown Salina at 211 West Iron. Um, and also you have a gift shop. Let's just briefly talk about oh, that. Oh, we have a wonderful museum store. It has um, homemade, or not homemade, Kansas made art. Uh, we have wheat weaving, pottery, um, paintings, photographs. Uh, but we also have Kansas uh, made gifts um, and foods. So it's just a great place to come get that Kansas, unique Kansas gift item. I've been through that. I give it a 4A rating because it's a beautiful shop and you can always take something home from Kansas from here at the Smoky Hill Museum. Uh, what about a mission price? That's the best part. We're free. Ooh. So anyone can come <laughs> and enjoy our museum. Sounds like a plan. And tell them one more time where we're located. We're at 211 West Iron. Um, our hours are Tuesday through Friday. 12 to 6, had to think for a second, 12 no, to 6, okay. Saturday 10 to 5, and Sunday 1 to 5. Well, thank you very much. We've been with Susan Hawksworth, the director of the Smoky Hill Museum here in Salina. Come and visit.